Okay, let's have a look at an example that will help us to understand uh, coordinate transformations. Let's say that I have a point uh, in uh, Cartesian coordinates here, uh, minus 2, uh, 6, 3. So in other words, minus 2 along the x, 6 along the y, and 3 along the z axes. And let's further suppose that we have a, a uh, vector field here, A, uh, that's written in Cartesian coordinates in the following way. A is equal to y x hat plus x plus y times y hat. And we would like to convert both of these quantities, P and A, into uh, cylindrical coordinates. Let's see how we would do this. Well, in order to go from uh, Cartesian to cylindrical, we need some relationships. And these really are the, are the, the relevant ones for us here, that we're also going to use these um, in a moment. So what we're going to do is, um, first of all, uh, let's, uh, let's just simply convert this point P from Cartesian to cylindrical coordinates. In order to do that, we recognize that for this example, x is minus 2, y is 6, and z is equal to 3. So we can come over here uh, to the right-hand side of these expressions and simply plug in the appropriate, appropriate values for x, y, and z, and we're done. So let's do that real quick. So rho is the square root of x squared plus y squared. That's the square root of 40, which is 6.32. Phi is the arctangent of y over x, which is 108.43 degrees. And z is just simply equal to z, which is 3. No problems there. So we can write this same point P here, which in Cartesian coordinates is given by minus 2, 6, 3. We can write that exact same point um, in cylindrical coordinates as 6.32, that's a distance, 108.43 degrees, that's an angle, and um, 3, degree, three uh, units along uh, the z-axis, that's obviously distance. So distance, angle, distance in cylindrical coordinates. Okay, now, if we want to convert this vector field A from Cartesian to uh, cylindrical coordinates, we're going to need these expressions here uh, for the unit vectors. So x hat uh, is equal to cosine phi uh, rho hat minus sine phi th uh, phi hat, and y hat is sine phi rho hat plus cosine phi phi hat. So what we're going to do is, wherever we see um, an x hat, we're going to substitute this expression. Wherever we see a y hat, we're going to substitute this expression right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So the vector field A is equal to y, that's rho sine phi, times x hat, that's the, the quantity here in the square brackets, plus x, that's rho cosine phi plus z times y hat. That's the quantity in this in these brackets. And then we just simply finish by gathering all the terms in front of rho hat and all the terms in front of phi hat. And what you end up with um, is an expression that looks, uh, looks like the following here. You've got um, a rho sine, sine phi cosine phi plus rho cosine phi plus z all times sine phi. That's in the phi hat direction, okay? And down here, um, you end up with rho sine squared of phi plus rho cosine squared of phi uh, plus one other term that I missed here, and I'll add this in, plus z times cosine phi here, okay? And that all um, is multiplying uh, the phi hat direction. So that, that, that's how you do it. Um, that's how you do it. That's, that's one approach to doing it. Um, you, can also, uh, you can also convert these two, as I said, um, using matrix vector products. But this is a way to do it via direct substitution.